The features of the back menu are language, type of valve, proportional frequency. If you were, if you had a bang bang or an on off valve selected, proportional frequency goes pulse frequency. You know, pulse frequency will change on on off valve. If you have a proportional valve, the proportional frequency stays exactly the same at 120. Here you have your min current raise, min current lower, max current raise, max current lower. Hydraulic testing mode. That means if you're testing this out um, on the job site, how do you want your valve to move? Do you want it to move up one direction as we're testing it or up and down, back and forth as you're testing the speed of your valve? Most people don't mess with this at all, but if you have questions on it, feel free to give us a call. Min output time for minimum current. So as you're testing your minimum current, it's asking you how long do you want minimum current to be coming out of your valve? Max current, how long do you want the max current to be coming out as you're in test mode? This does not include when you're running in real time. This is only for testing mode. Cross slope limitation, the highest that goes is 17%. That's where we leave it. It's a default. If you're really getting higher than that, odds are you're going to roll the machine over. Sensitivity mode is on. If you turn that off, dead band and proportional band will show up in the main menu of the operator's menu, in the F3 menu. User mode, standard. Semi-auto is for mills and auto zeros for mills as well. <clears throat> stop auto level or stop auto open. That's for pin J on the back of the machine, that, which tells, are you in forward motion or are you in neutral? Hydraulic records. You can outfit this for up to 20 different machines. So we could put 20 different records in here for 20 different machines. Typically, if you're only using us on one machine, I will bring this number down to one. So you can't change anything else. Because what happens is, if you go to the main operator's menu, and you get your hydraulic record. If you come off the number one and go to number two, it will give you factory default settings and your controller will not work with your system.